Hello everyone, I am a PhD student from Singapore University of Technology and Design. Today I would like to present our paper, Rethinking Model Inversion Attack Again Deep Neural Networks. In this paper, we focus on an important category of privacy attacks, that is Model Inversion, or MI for short. This attack aims to infer and reconstruct private training data by abusing access to a model. We analyze two fundamental issues pertaining to all the state-of-the-art model inversion algorithms and propose solutions to these issues will list a significant boost in performance for all the state-of-the-art MI methods. Our results highlight the rising threats posed by the MI and prompt serious consideration regarding the privacy and machine learning. Deep neural networks are trained using private training data, and then after training, only training model is released to the user, while training data remains private. In this paper, we study model inversion attacks, an attack that aims to infer and reconstruct private training data by abusing access to a model. For instance, an adversary may attack a face recognition system to reconstruct sensitive face image used in training. MI attacks have right a serious concern of leaking private training data through a training model. Given a model M that is trained on the private data D prime, the attacker can access M, but D prime is not intended to be shared. The goal of MI is to infer the information of private sample in deep right. By a difference of various state of the art MI, the common and central to all of D methods have two losses identity loss and prior loss. The first one, identity loss, guides the reconstructed image as that is more likely to be re recognized by the model M at the identity Y. And the prior lot constrains some prior information about the data. The identity loss plays the most important role in the model inversions. However, on the state of the art model inversions methods use the, the same identity loss, although they have different assumptions about the latent space QZ and the prior loss, particularly the identity loss for a, a target identity y equal to k is introduced in the equation two, which is maximize the log likelihood of the, of the target class k. It can be rewritten at the equation three. This objective can be achieved by post maximizing the first part, which is affected by the target identity case and or minimize the second part was effective by the other class. We provide our intuition through the lens of permuting material activations P to show that such formulations is suboptimal for model inversion. The objective functions in equation trace here work for classification tasks because P is distant from the other class classification reason. For example, the image from the Simon will be different from the Davis and Peter. However, the goal of model inversion is to reconstruct training data. So P should close to the private data representation for the classic case. Therefore, we argue that model inversion require more attention to maximize the first part rather than minimize the second part in equation 3. Proposed to directly maximize the logic instead of maximizing the log likelihood of the class K at the existing identity loss. The second term is used for regularizing the permutimac layer activations and P regularize here is estimates and test using the public data set. Next, we move to our second contribution. We define a new concept of MI overfitting. So given a fixed target model, and the goal of MI is to reconstruct private training data. So we define MI overfitting as instant, with during model inversion, the reconstructed data fits 
too closely to the Thais model, and it failed to adequately learn the semantics of uh, identity. Virus by the conventional issue of overfitting in model training, we propose a novel solution based on model augmentation to alleviate the MI overfitting issue. Especially, we propose to apply knowledge distillation with the tires model aims as the teacher and augmented model as the student. We remarked that the public data set is using during the training of the augmented model as the private training data is not available in this state. We follow a set experiment setup of state of the art methods in our experiment. We conduct totally 78 experiments spanning 20 setups. Here is, we show set results of four different setup using two type classifier and two public data set. For more results, please view our paper. We show that for all experiments with significant improved attack results of state of the art MI methods. For example, we improved the attack result from 80.5% to 92.9%. Here we show the qualitative results. We compare the reconstructed image of our proposal method to the state of the art methods. So as we can one can observe our proposal method achieve better reconstructed private of uh, private data both visually and quantitatively validated by the K and distance. So results in a significant boost in attack performance. In conclusion, we analyzed two fundamental issues pertaining to all the state of the art MI algorithm in this paper. First, we analyzed the existing identity loss in the state of the art methods and argued that it is suboptimal for model inversion. Our proposal identity loss aligns better with the goal of MI. Second, we formulated uh, formalize a new concept of MI overfitting and propose model augmentation to alleviate MI overfitting. Our proposal methods are simple and easy to integrate to, into existing SOTA MI attacks, result in a significant improve in attack accuracy. Our findings demonstrate a clear risk of sensitive information leak from the deep learning model. Please drop by our poster for more details. Thank you for listening.